At this point I have code which will generate the edge, column and row given a particular spiral dimension. So as you saw previously, if I run this with n equals 5, I have my edge, um, column and row here. And I've also added the case now for when n is even. So if n is 6, I've added this section of code in here. The only difference being there's a slight modification to how you generate your numbers when it's even. So when it's odd, the row starts at um, some small value and counts to the larger value. When it's even, the row starts at the larger value and counts down. So you can see here 16 counts down to 13. And then similarly, the direction of the the direction of the column is also flipped. So this starts at 21 and counts down to 17. Whereas when you started an even number in the bottom left, you start at 10 and count upwards to 13 or upwards to a higher number. So I've added that in. So that's all fine now. So the next thing I want to do is do this in a loop. So right now I'm only generating one row and column. What I actually want to do is generate all the rows and columns for a particular n. So generate the edge row and column. And then for that n uh, or for the generated row and column, place them into the overall matrix. Okay, so I need to take the code that I have right now and convert this into a loop somehow. And then in that loop, I also need to place my generated rows and columns into the correct position. So as it is right now, I can place them at the edge, but as I continue on, what I know is that the terms I generate aren't going to be exactly at the edge. So for example, when I generate the term for starting with 9, starting with n equals 3, I'll generate this group here. 789 and 765, and they're not going to be as straightforward to place in this overall matrix as it was just putting this in the first um, row and column. It's not even as straightforward as putting it in the second row because this is actually n equals 3. So it's my third iteration through this because I would have done 5 and then 4 to get to 3. And the third time through this loop, I have to put things in the second um, column and row. So there's something not quite direct going on there that I'm going to need to keep track of. Okay, so before I worry about that, I'm going to convert this into a loop. And I'm going to comment out this code because I know it's not going to work the way I want it to in my overall um, system. From here on, it needs to be in a loop. So I'm going to do it in a for loop, and I'm going to do it for all values of n. So if n is my spiral dimension, I want to do between 1 and n, so that I generate each one of those row column pairs um, for each associated n. So for test n, I'm going to call this. And I'm also going to work my way outside in. So I'm going to start at the highest value and do this first row and column, and then take 16 as my next value, so that would be n take 1 as 4, and generate the next one, and then take 9, generate the next one, and then 2 and then 1 at the end. Okay, so my for loop set up to go backwards, start at the highest value and work downwards, using the same negative stepping as I did for my matrix. Okay, so I will indent all of that. At this point, the other thing I need to change is all of these calculations based on n, which is 6, which you can see, and that's not changing. I actually want to be doing this based on my test value for n. Those are all changed now. The other thing I've done is commented out this line. So this isn't actually required anymore because the value n squared is generated in my column and row. So I don't actually need um, the line where I placed n squared in the top right or bottom left position. This is all in a loop now. So what I want to do is check that I actually do generate the correct columns and rows. So I'll put a breakpoint in. Start at 5. I should generate... Um, 21 to 25 and 21 down to 17, which I do. Then for n equals 4, which it is now, I should generate 16 down to 13. So I should generate these numbers and then 13 down to 10. Okay, so new row is 16 down to 13 and new column is 10 to 13, which is as it should be. For n equals 3, I should have 7, 8, 9, which I do. 
and my column should be 765. 765, which is correct. Okay, and then n equals 2 and 1, I'm sure I'll find. So now comes the tricky part, which is actually figuring out where to put these things.